It's Valentine's Day and we have two gifts from Budget 2023. Hi, I'm Edith and welcome to Talking Shop with Property Bank, which will dive in Budget 2023 non-residential buyer stamp duty increase. How does it impact investors and businesses? First of all, Budget 2023. I would like to say that thankful to our government who's always caring and of course you know what does it mean for budget 2023 is to grow our economy to make sure that our workers are equipped with the skills secondly to have a great social impact and thirdly to build a resilient nation and that brings us to having a fair tax system so the first gift Young couples, you love them because now you are on the edge of buying resale because BTO and all that is not ready yet. So the four rooms are smaller. In fact, you have an increase in $30,000 and that gives you an immediate effect. CPF housing grants of $80,000. For the five room or larger, that's an increase of $10,000 that brings you up to $50,000. So that gift, we all love it. The other gift, however, we like less, which is the buyer stamp duty increase that impacts both residential properties and for the first time, non-residential properties. So for residential buyers out there, the impact is basically if you buy anything which is 1.5 to 3 million, you pay 5% in excess of and for above 3 million, you actually pay 6% for that category in excess of. Now, what does it mean for non-residential? So the portion of the value which is in excess of 1 to 1.5 million, now you are taxed in excess of at 4%, while above 1.5 million, you'll be taxed 5%. However, let's look at also the transitional provision, which means that if on the 14th of February, you're granted the option, don't sit down and relax because you have to satisfy all three conditions. Your option must be exercised on and by 7th of March. Easy date, one day before International Women's Day. And of course, during this period, your option to purchase cannot be varied. Uh, starting from 15th of February. Please don't sit um, and relax if you have not exercised your option to purchase. So, what's the message then? You know, actually, people will look at it. Increase is a little like a wealth tax. The ABSD impacts on the seller. Right now, it impacts on the buyers. So, if there's the demand to buy, you know, uh, slap the tax on those who are buying. Of course, right now, the careful to watch on is the impact to non-residential properties. So, let's also uh, find out a little bit more what's actually the impact to non-residential buyers. So BT reported that in fact 60% of the non-residential properties are impacted. Reason is very simple. Most of them are actually priced above 1 million. So the 1 to 1.5, you actually tax increase in excess of 1%. So commercial properties such as offices, retail, and even commercial shop houses, they are impacted. Industrial properties as well. The secret to one uh, of the question is how not to be impacted. So buy non-residential properties below 1 million then you stay the same, you just pay your buyer stamp duty at 3%. Okay, so there are other ways that you may not find yourself impacted. So if you are keen to find out, you can reach us. Um, now, let's go to the math of it. Okay, so how do you calculate that? So below 1 million, the formula is always 3% less $5,400. And if it's between 1 million to 3 million, it's 4%. Uh, less 15,400 and if it's 3 million and above it's 5% less 30,400 so bear in mind now this chart uh, is just for uh, non-residential property so for residential property you don't follow this uh, chart uh, for the selling price the calculation let's dissect in <coughs> about the impact so today, if you are out there buying a 1.2 million, the new stamp duty is 32,600. Whereas old stamp duty, you only pay 30,600. So what's the increase? 
$2,000. If, however, you jump over the 1.5 million, say assuming 1.6 million. So the new stamp duty is now 49,600. You used to pay only 42,600. The impact is $7,000. So I guess this below 10,000 is really no sweat. Huh? But as the price goes higher, that's uh, giving you another scenario, which is $3 million. The new stamp duty is now $119,600 versus the old stamp duty, $84,600. So that's an impact of 35,000. So the higher price tag that it goes to, um, the higher that you need to pay in excess of um, above that 1 million mark and especially above the 1.5 million, you actually jump to 5% uh, in excess of that uh, category. So now, let's have this little discussion with you. Um, so if you are an investor out there, you have to ask yourself this question. Do you want to invest in residential property or non-residential property? The impact for the second residential property is the ABSD. So is it more worthwhile paying the ABSD or that little increase in the percentage for paying the buyer's stamp duty investing in a non-residential property? So you guys out there, if you are already renting a portfolio of uh, shops, you have multiple locations. So by and large, most of you guys, because of the location, you will rent in those uh, uh, big malls. But if you do have opportunity to buy strata shops, then that is something that you have to ask yourself. As a, a tenant, uh, you probably uh, pay rent. And versus that, if you buy and you pay your increase in stamp duty, buyer stamp duty, you actually own the property in time to come. So pay installment instead of rent. Okay, so um, that's the message that I want to bring across to uh, business um, owners who are out there paying rent. Of course, uh, one example that I've given is already the uh, you know multiple shops. You could also be renting an office. You could also be renting your industrial. And you've been paying for years and years you know, of rent to your landlord, making them richer. But you are uh, probably cash rich, asset poor. So it is a time that you have to ask yourself that question to weigh the benefits versus cost of what makes sense for you as a business. Now, the beauty of non-residential property. I have already mentioned that you know you pay rent instead of installment for those business uh, occupiers. For the investors, the lovely part of um, non-residential property is that most of them, most of the tenants are running the business on an ongoing concern. So they will take care of to repair the bulbs if the uh, you know toilets are not working well. They will actually be hands-on to make sure that um, you know it's working fine. Stability of having a business tenant is greater. Yeah. Um, so, however, for non-residential property. You should also still be aware GST is applicable because most of the um, properties are uh, sold by GST registered entity. So there's a little bit more work because you have to make sure you have your accountant to file in your GST if you want to claim back your GST. And mind you, GST now is 8% and there will be further increase down the road. However, for GST registered uh, entity, you can certainly claim them back. I have shared much about the uh, non-residential uh, properties, the buyer stamp duty, the impact to you guys, whether you are an investor or you are a um, business owner. So this is a time that you want to find out a little bit more, reach out to us. You want to know how to um, you know, not pay the buyer stamp duty, also reach out to us. So um, I'm Edith from Property Bank. We hold a bank of properties and you can bank on us. Don't forget to click to uh, thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you again.